Time now to talk winners and losers on Wall Street. Financial expert Rob Black joining us on a morning, Rob, where it looks like it's green across the board. That's always nice to see. Good morning. Green, um, green across the sea, for sure. Um, two days in a row, up big, telling you that you have to be in. You don't want to miss the big up days. But no one really thinks on Wall Street that this is the bottom. There was no panic. There was no bank broken. Um, <clears throat> there's no announcement from the Fed that we've beaten inflation. There's no cut in interest rates. There's no recession talk. Uh, consumer looks healthy. So I hate to say it, but this is a time to reposition your portfolio. If there's a stock that you own that's awful, get rid of it. Um, raise some cash and be ready for another down leg until those things happen. Um, good earnings out of Goldman and Bank of America today. So that's, we're feeling like, sweet. Lockheed Martin, nice numbers. Johnson Johnson, nice numbers. Some headline news that I know you're going to love. McDonald's is introducing Krispy Kreme donuts in nine locations. So when you go for your coffee and your breakfast, you can grab a donut to go. And it's the best kind of sugary sweet donuts. Um, Taco Bell is doing the steal a base, steal a uh, Dorito Loco taco uh, for the World Series again. Again, that's just really, to me, that's all about the millennials and getting them engaged. Mm. If you can pick the player on their app, you also get a free soda, and that's them pushing the app. Um, and Microsoft said they're going to let go of about 1,000 employees, about 1% of their workforce. That's what we need. We need more of that. It's sad. It stinks. It's not very nice of me to say, but mm. that's what kills inflation, James. How much longer before we get a Krispy Kreme burger at McDonald's? Do you remember that Krispy Kreme chicken sandwich at yes. Kentucky Fried Chicken? That's what made me think of it. For sure. Did you ever try one of those? I didn't. I, yeah. I'm so close to diabetes that it would push me over the top. <laughs> you and me both. I feel your pain. And on that note, let's talk about Halloween candy because it's that time of year. And I guess helping me not eat as much as I would typically is the fact that prices are going sky high on a lot of it. Yeah. Well, I brought my, my friend, the spider, and he loves sugar just as much as you and I do. But sugar's <laughs> up 11% this year. And because sugar's up 11%, candy's up 13%. Typical family wants to spend $30 on candy. This year, it's going to be more like $35, 120 Ooh. piece um, bag. At Amazon, it's $10.99. That's about $2 more than it was last year. Mm. If you go with a 450 piece, um, you know, M&Ms and all the goodies, it's about $27 this year. That's up about $250 more. I recommend going with the 450 pieces. And like me and you can go 50-50 on it and we can split it and, and, and give it out that way. Um, that's what a lot of people are starting to do at this point in time, figuring out ways to be creative to, but to buy in bulk to get the lower prices for yeah. a piece of candy. You know things are bad when that house that always gives out the full-size candy bars goes to fun size. Then you know everybody's hurting. <laughs> that's the house that's going to be egged. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's talk quickly about Netflix, our final story of the day today, doing what they can to try and increase their subscriber count because obviously they took a, a hit earlier this year and that didn't, didn't do well for their stock. Yeah, last quarter, they lost a million subscribers. That's why I'm doing this story today. They're going to report today after the market closes. They had Stranger Things this quarter. They've had Dahmer, the monster documentary uh, this quarter, and they've also had a new Cobra Kai in the last 90 days. So their numbers should be good. The programming was there. But they lost a million last quarter. Now, this quarter, in the next month, they're going to do ad-supported $6.99 plus five minutes of commercials. That's going to be a very low-end tier, but it's still a subscriber, and it's still throwing in some money for that they're going to make on advertisers. That's going to be big for their adding of subscribers this time next year. And password sharing is going to be a, come a, a big thing that they deal with in 2023. They've been testing various models, expect it to come to the United States. So even your kids in college, um, not, not saying that you're stealing from your neighbor's password. I'm not judging anyone at this point. No. But your, your kids out of the house will have to start having their own um, subscription. Or they'll figure out a way to add on like Sun in College for $2 more a month. Yeah. Hopefully that's the case because that's the exact situation I'm in right now. Hulu's already cracking the whip. He lost his ability to watch Hulu live. Anyway, we had to sign up for a whole new subscription just so that he could continue watching. Not fun. It, it adds up. It does add up. All right, Rob, thank you as always. We're going to chat with Rob again tomorrow. So get your questions and comments in now. Facebook, Twitter, you see his handles there. Reach out. You can email him directly at rob at robblack.com.